Professor Koto's advice is that teachers not try to teach everything about writing at the same time. There are just too many things, content and organization, appropriate for the register, cohesive development of ideas, spelling and punctuation, grammatical accuracy and vocabulary, to name a few. Each of these needs to be worked out on and focused on individually through the process of writing. Professor Kotos also suggested giving students lots of opportunities for practice. She suggested that students be given assignments to write every day in a journal or a blog. It doesn't have to be a lot of writing, but it's the doing it every day aspect that is important. She suggests that teachers use writing assignments to help students learn, not only for grading. She suggests that teachers design tasks to simulate real communication that is relevant to the students. In other words, these tasks should make students' writing interesting. She also suggests providing feedback regularly and selectively. This is a particularly interesting question. How much and how regular? And how selective should the feedback be? It's clear that teachers providing feedback on every detail of everything students write is neither possible nor desirable for the students. But the balance of how much feedback and when feedback should be given and how feedback should be given is something that is very much a topic of research today. Finally, she suggested exploring the use of computer-generated feedback as well as peer feedback, as is possible in collaborative writing particularly. And finally, even though I didn't ask Professor Koto specifically about technology, her advice was that teachers help students to write through different modalities and using a variety of technological tools. She suggested expanding opportunities for authentic communication with an audience and this is something that can be done through the use of the internet. She suggested using technology tools to help students learn, and she pointed out that it's particularly important for teachers to learn what the tools can and cannot offer. Professor Koto's suggestions are a good way to bridge into the question of how technology can help, and we want to talk about a few different ways that technology can help in the writing process. First, we want to look at how teachers can create a collection of register-relevant texts that students can analyze for their assignments. As part of the planning process for writing, students need to see texts that are similar in audience and purpose to the ones they're going to write. Second, technology can help by helping teachers teach students how to search for examples on the internet to learn about registers. Third, Teachers should take advantage of the use of word processing tools to make writing a process. Fourth, students should be taught how to use grammar checking tools, and they need to learn what those tools can and cannot do. And then finally, technology is very useful for creating some assignments requiring the use of collaborative writing tools that allow students to work together. So let's take a look at some examples of each of these suggestions.